here. Um, between 1956 and 1971, the FBI ran a counterintelligence program named COINTELPRO that was initiated by J. Edgar Hoover. COINTELPRO mainly targeted civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King, and it's commonly understood that this was an abuse of its surveillance power in a manner to suppress a peaceful movement. So uh, I would like to ask Mr. Chair unanimous consent to enter this report into the record, which is black identity extremists likely motivated to target law enforcement officers. I believe earlier you said you were not familiar with the report, is that correct? Well, I haven't read it. I know um, some of the alleged uh, targeting of, of officers uh, by a Okay, so a I, I would group. like to know, and I'll ask you about that in a minute. So you um, are somewhat familiar with it. Who had the power in your department to order a report like this? I'm not sure how that report got ordered. I don't believe I explicitly uh, approved it or directed it. Okay, so uh, you're not, you haven't necessarily read the report, but you are familiar with the term black identity extremists? Well, I think so, yes. So could you tell me what that term means to you? Do you believe that there is a movement of African Americans that identify themselves as black identity extremists, and what does that movement do? Well, it would be interesting to see the conclusions of that report. But I'm aware uh, that there are groups that uh, do have an extraordinary commitment to their um, racial identity, and some have transformed themselves even into violent activists. Are so, you aware of white uh, organizations that do this as well? Given that white supremacy is well-documented, well-researched movements such as the neo-Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, et cetera, are they white identity extremists? I didn't follow that question, please, again. Um, is there a term or a report on white identity extremists? You mentioned you were familiar with black people who identify with their racial identity. Yes, but it's not coming to me at this moment. <laughs> not coming to you? Uh, it's um, Certainly a group such as the Ku Klux Klan. Yes, the and then the skinhead movements, but there's a racial identity white movements uh, that have been identified for sure. So has the FBI done a report on white identity extremists that are likely motivated to target law enforcement officers? Um, Is there such I'm not a aware of that. Okay. Uh, are you aware of a group called the Sovereign Citizens? I've heard that group, yes. And I believe that the Sovereign Citizens is primarily a white organization that absolutely has targeted police officers and killed police officers. You're not aware of that? I'm not aware of all their crimes, but I know they are a group that's um, uh, known to have violent tendencies. Could you name an African-American organization that have committed violent acts against police officers? Could you name one today? In this report, they name organizations from 30, 40 years ago, but can you name of one today that has targeted uh, police officers in a violent manner? I believe I could, but I would want to be uh, to confirm uh, that and submit it to you in writing. But I believe we had within the last year or so, four police officers killed by a group that some have described as uh, extremists. So what has happened is, is that there have been a couple of incidents in which African Americans did kill police officers who were not associated with a black organization. And so one, for example, in Baton Rouge was associated with sovereign citizens, which is primarily a white group. So you should know that there's a lot of concern in the community, especially from organizations such as Black Lives Matter. By the way, would you consider Black Lives Matter a uh, black identity extremist group? Um, I'm not able to comment on that. I'm not, a, I have not so declared it. So you should know that a lot of activists around the country are very concerned that we're getting ready to repeat a very uh, sad chapter of our history, where people who are rightfully protesting what they consider to be an injustice in their community, which is their uh, relationship uh, with police officers, are now being targeted and labeled as extremists and are going through periods of surveillance and harassment. And so I would like to know, what is your department going to do to protect the rights of average citizens to protest if they have a concern about police officers? This department will not unlawfully target people. So if that's the case, then I would ask that you review this report, Black Identity, Identity Extremists Likely Motivated to Target Law Enforcement Officers, because I personally don't believe that any such organizations exist. The organizations that are referred to in this report 
uh, or organizations from decades ago. And so I would like to know what will you do to essentially roll back what is listed in this report? Because it's not accurate. Sir? I will, we will look at the report. I actually um, would be interested in reading it. But they usually do an excellent job, objective and fair, on those kind of reports. Okay, well, just... Time of the, time of the gentlewoman has expired. The